terrible, but I'm in my Salem shirt. I have ghosts on my shorts and I found my microphone for my phone. So now you can actually hopefully hear me better than in the last moving vlog. Anyway, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hate how my hair looks. What is this? Hold on. Can we like... <gasps> Whoa. I forgot to brush my hair this morning. Oh my god. Hello and welcome to episode four of my moving series. We have finally moved. We are now in the townhouse, which is super duper exciting. But the only thing is that I am now living in box hell. And we're also like halfway through October and I haven't decorated or done anything yet. The most decorating I've done is, um, I'm, I'm wearing this. If you're new here, hi, my name is Zoe and I am 28 years old. I'm originally from New York, the Bronx, and I am now living in New London, Connecticut. <coughs> and this is just, you know, me documenting how my life is going, and hopefully it's entertaining to you, and if it is, uh, feel free to subscribe. But anyway, um, I want to put holes in the wall today. <laughs> That's what we're doing. I'm not sure what this vlog is going to entail, but I am hoping that I will get rid of some boxes and do a little bit of like organization, things like that. You know, be very productive and, you know, get rid of some of these godforsaken boxes. And we're gonna start with opening a box from Ikea. I ordered a couple of things, but this box is really massive. I didn't think it would need to be this big. But then again, I did buy some picture frames uh, for a little, you know, gallery wall moment. Oh! Oh, this is nice. This is going to be so good for, like, putting in leftover soups. Because it is, like, rectangular, but it's, like, a, a trapezoid? Yeah, trapezoid? Yeah, I feel like this would be really good. I'm excited. Hopefully you don't hear my dishwasher running in the background right now. I just wanted to, you know, get the dishwasher out of the way so that I could put these new bowls and stuff in there to dishwash. I think this is the... Oh no, are you broken? I think it's broken. Yeah. Oh god. You know, this is not very good packaging at all. Like, everything's pretty loose in this box. I don't know what they thought was gonna happen. Oh, this is broken, broken. Oh god. Okay. We're just gonna put you right there. Like, this one's not even wrapped. I mean, it survived, but like, this is how it was. Ikea. Please. I mean, I'm glad this came in one piece, but like, do better. Oh, they added in a random empty roll of tape. I'm not sure what this is, but okay. Oh, here's the circle ones. Yay! Oh God. <coughs> Ooh. Yay, these are so cute. This is also good for like soup. If you have like a single portion left and you just gotta be done with it. Love that. Okay, here are the tops to the circle ones. They are plastic, but they're pretty good. I mean, it's not the worst in the world. I'd rather the, you know, most of the container to be glass, so. And then these are the square ones, but unfortunately the other square is broken. And then the rest of these are actually picture frames. I got a couple of, ooh, I didn't know it was gonna be like a shadow box. That's exciting. So yeah, I got a couple of picture frames. Very cute. I got two red ones, which I thought would be so fun because I kind of want to paint some of these picture frames, but I don't want to paint all of them. So I decided to get some in red. I feel like that would be a really fun pop of color. And then I think this was like 20 bucks. That is a piece of glass. Oh my God. There's glass shards all over it. Great. Anyway, I got this because I have a little TikTok shop collaboration with HP Sprocket and they sent me uh, their four by six printer. And I feel like this would be so perfect because these are all four by six and then I can print out a bunch of pictures and yeah, picture frame. <laughs> 
where this is gonna go um maybe in our bedroom that would be pretty cute i'm not really sure i'm also not sure what pictures are gonna go in here but maybe i guess pictures of me and my fiance would be really nice so yeah just finished dealing with ikea's like chat support system and that was like 25 minutes of just like working with one agent and then them transferring me to another agent and then they asked me how my weather was outside i guess they were like oh maybe the box is damaged and i'm like no it's cloudy outside uh it was just insufficient packaging and that's why it broke like everything was loose in the box everything was rattling so yeah anyway so they're gonna ship me two new ones um one is completely broken and the other one isn't but i literally can't get it off the broken one like thank goodness this was all wrapped up because look at how bad this break is like look at this look at this oh my god like that's terrifying um but yeah i can't really like it's stuck and because i didn't put any paper between it like containers can easily get stuck this way i mean i don't know if i can get this off i would like to but i don't know nor the craziness of my countertop oh my god there's so much glass everywhere uh, maybe if i do it this way oh please let go oh so I used to be a hostess in a restaurant and I would always be so anxious when glass would break. Like I would be the first person to like run over there or like at least one of the first people to make sure all the glass was picked up and then I would expect like inspect the floor and pick up any like tiny pieces of glass. Not because I was told to, I was just, you know, I just didn't want people to step on glass this won't come off <laughs> oh <laughs> like i'm getting a new one anyway like i'm getting two new ones so like i don't really have to keep the one that's stuck but also there's nothing wrong with it it's just stuck to the other one. Oh, i got it off i got it off i got it off i just i just banged it a little bit for it to get loose and then it came off so now i can use this one and now i kind of feel bad and now i don't have enough <coughs> lids but that's fine um, cool. Now I can toss this and my anxiety will disappear. Like, I'm not kidding. I even got a lint roller and lint rolled the big picture frame that was covered in all the tiny shards of glass. I'm not ready to open it just yet, so I just wanted, like, any little pieces of glass just gone. I will say that even though it's not broken, it does have a lot of scratches on it but whatever i'll still keep it it's gonna be for storing food it's not like decorative also this is so satisfying taking off the sticker oh no <gasps> no it was no longer satisfying please come off okay there we go in terms of aesthetic and like design of this townhouse. I'm not really sure what I want to go for. I think I kind of just want to make it cute and stuff. I don't really know. I mean, I started saving some things on Pinterest and I was like, oh my God, that'd be so amazing. And one of those things is having a little like propagation area. And I thought it'd be so fun to put it on a wall. Um, so I decided to get these off of Amazon. I know I just said that I have glass anxiety, but like, you can't tell me that these aren't super duper pretty and they're gonna look so cute on this wall. I have two windows in here, which gives some great light and it does bring in a nice amount of sunshine. So I was thinking if I'm gonna have a propagation wall, it should be on this wall that, you know, has, you know, gets all the sunlight and stuff. So I wanted to get these so cute and then i can put like my pothos propagations in there and then we kind of fit like you know this kind of like aesthetic wall i mean it's it's not going to be super jungly or anything like that but i think it would bring so much more life into the space and like my pothos she needs to be trimmed a little bit so we can 
fill these up with her propagation. So I got four of these and they're so cute and skinny. I'm really like obsessed with it and they're little. I think it's gonna look so good. Also, yes, my nails are still absolutely atrocious. Honestly, they've gotten worse. I don't wanna talk about it right now. <laughs> I brought it up, but I don't want to talk about it. But, you know, just addressing the elephant in the room. Ow. Hello? Huh? I have... I have never seen... Mm -mm. I have never seen hardware like this before. Do I just, like, put it on the wall and smack it with a hammer and then these like go through and pierce the wall is that is that what we're doing is this safe okay so i checked the amazon listing and yes it it really is just that you just line up the little hooks on this and then you smack it in with a hammer and then you're good but now i have a new issue i just realized um i don't know where the studs are in this wall, in any of these walls. And I don't have a stud finder. My stud finder is just a heavy duty magnet. I don't know where it is. So I guess we're not hanging anything up today, like at all. <sighs> I'm tired. I didn't do anything today, but the mental draining is enough for me. <laughs> Good morning! I just filmed some parts of the office video makeover, which you will see next video, <laughs> like moving around boxes. But for today, uh, we're actually gonna go out to the farmer's market, so that's really exciting. So I got some plaid going on and my jeans. And yeah, let's head out and see what fresh produce they have. little 
haul of things we got from the farmer's market and like another little farm. Uh, we got some apple cider, which is very delicious. Uh, we got some plums. And then this is like a brownie caramel tart and an almond croissant. This was from the same person. So cute. And then we also got some farm fresh eggs. And one of them still has the, the feather on it somewhere. Oh yeah, there's that. <laughs> and then these can stay out on the countertop for like one to two weeks, which is crazy. But yeah, what a good fun haul. Yay. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. <laughs> Don't mind the hair towel on my head. Uh, I just washed my hair, you know, took a nice shower. I noticed that my stress pimples from the move are finally healing, which is great. Uh, and then I pulled out this very wrinkly set. Um, you know, it's fall, cozy vibes. I didn't realize how absolutely wrinkly this was. Um, and I guess these are like oil stains, like hair oil. I, I don't know. Anyway, I brought you in here for a reason. So I brought you here because of this wall. I want to put a towel rack here uh, to hold all of our towels and like dry them too. It's like a really cool little like towel rack thing. I'll show you. So I found in my drill box, I didn't realize, but remember how I was telling you that little magnet that like helps me find the studs? Yeah, it's in here. Here she is, my heavy duty magnet. And on top of that, my level is in here. So this is perfect. So we can get started. Okay, so here is the towel rack. See how you can like hang your towels here so they can dry? I really like that. So I'm thinking like here, it's really tall, but like it's pretty good. Like it comes out kind of almost as much as the door does. So I feel like it's not that much of an inconvenience when you're walking in and out of the bathroom. I might need a step stool to get all the way up there. I also need a pencil, but that's the idea. This thing is really tall. And then you can put stuff on top of here. So like if I have a candle, I want to, you know, keep it away from the cats. I can. Let's see if I can find any studs. Oh, there's one. So that's good. If I go up, oh, oh, there's another one. Okay. So if I just keep it in between that, I should be fine. We should be good. It's not like there's anything going on this part anyway, whatever. <laughs> it's just a towel. A towel doesn't need to be that level. I don't know why this bottom part isn't level, but the top part is level. I'm not sure, but it's just, oh, I need to, okay, hold on. Let me fix that. Ah! Yeah, this is exactly what I was envisioning. Cause then like, when you're done showering, you can hang the towel here and then it'll dry. And then you can still dry your hands with this little towel down here. And, and then you could see all the towels you have. And if you have to do a towel wash, then you'll know. Cause ADHD problems. Oh my God, this, uh, I'm ex this is great. I love this thing. And there's a candle all the way up there. How I'm going to get to it to light is going to be annoying, but I usually only light it when like guests come over. So like she's up there and then she's away from the cats. So works out. I 
I decided to put the hand towel here. It kind of just makes more sense when you turn around and you're like, oh, instead of going down here, I figured this would be better if the towel you just use needs to dry and it goes there instead of, you know, vice versa, because I feel like you'd get confused. I also may be overthinking it a little bit. Anyway, here it is. Clearly I need some more towels to fill that up, but I think it looks great. There's a couple more things that I'd like to do in this bathroom. I don't know about today. Uh, I do have some new like shower organizers that go on the wall here, but I'm gonna wait probably until like tomorrow so it's dry because I know like my fiance will take a shower. I don't wanna put it on when it's all wet. So I'll wait for that. And then I also just got this print from Etsy. It says, wash your little paws. I, I'm obsessed with this thing. And I put it in one of the little Ikea uh, five by seven frames. I just don't know where to put him. He's like so freaking cute, but I don't know where to put him. So um, yeah, there's like a lot of space, but it's like, I don't know where he should live. But um, I just wanna let you know that he is so cute. I will link this down below for you as well. But yeah, love him so much. So yeah, I think that's it for the bathroom for now. I like these, they're cute. Uh, frosted cranberry, and then you have fresh pine, but this is the one we came for. Pumpkin spice. Yes! And, and the microwave, but mostly that. on this vlog I didn't want to leave y'all hanging okay let's figure out this plant situation because my pothos plant is growing like absolutely crazy and that's what I want I want her to be like a really awesome trailing plant but I also want to cut some propagations off and put them in these little uh little jar things so trusty magnet in hand uh, let's figure out where I can put these and I'm thinking, you know, after, you know, a couple of days, I was like, oh, it would be cute if we just did like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah. So the idea is like, oh, okay, so I'll have the plants there and maybe I'll put picture frames. I think that would balance it out. I was like, oh, I could do a shelf, but then I got nervous about the cats trying to jump on it because of the couch is here and I have a side table here, so... We'll do pictures. So we gotta figure out what pictures I'm gonna put there and then we can put these little jar containers up because I really have been wanting to put them up there. The sun that comes in here and the light is just so good. I can't not put them up. I just made an incredible discovery. So I remembered that I purchased some uh, products from a shop called Shop Curious. And I found the box and <laughs> I ordered this back in May of this year. So it's like, oh, this is, 
this has never been opened before. So I opened it and I was like, <gasps> ah, this is a shelf. And I did say I wasn't going to put a shelf because I was scared about the catch jumping on this, but I don't think they'll jump on this. I think it's too small. There's holes. And I just don't think, you know, if I put like even one item on here, I don't think they'll feel so compelled to jump. So I was thinking maybe something here. Uh, there's the beam is here and I have my, oh, there it is, my trusty magnet here. So I know that I can put something hopefully here. And I just think that'd be so cute and it would add a little bit more as well. So I'm really happy about this actually. <laughs> really sure what exactly my interior design style is. All I know is that there are things that make me happy and that I definitely have the too much gene. I don't know why, it just kicks in real hard and it's just something I'm kind of trying to work on. I mean, I've accepted that I'm definitely a maximalist, not a minimalist, no way, no can do, but you know, there's just, you know, just you just do too much sometimes and I need to work on that but yeah I'm not sure exactly what style I'm going for in this townhouse in general really I'm just putting up things that make me happy you know the power of dopamine decor and I know I said at the beginning of this vlog that I was like gonna focus more on like organizing and things like that and getting rid of boxes which we did we did get rid of more boxes I just didn't film it I just thought, you know, it was just a little too much with the whole, like, you know, settling into the townhouse. I feel like it would be more fun if we actually did some decorating instead and just, like, went out and enjoyed, you know, fall activities and things like that. But, yeah, uh, that's the end of the vlog. And I hope that you come back soon. Come check out the next video for next week where uh, I'm transforming the office room and making it a two-person office which is so exciting and yeah that's really it so yeah please feel free to like subscribe comment and i'll see you next week okay bye